Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Illustrated Faith Bible, the larger one, and also in my Traveler's Notebook. And I'll be reading a devotion that just brightened up my day because you know this is Sunflower Week for me. This devotion fell right in line with my Be a Sunflower Week, and it's called Lighten Up, and it's day 50. And it was just a beautiful journal, and I thought, I mean, I'm sorry, a beautiful devotional that I thought went well with my be a sunflower week so I'm trying to use all of my kids that have sunflowers in them thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal so can you and I hope you're having a sunflower day take care before I get into the devotion I'll be using that lovely lady in my Bible as well and she's from at art digital and it's called good vibes and then I'll also be using a kit from ladies loving God because she had a kit that had sunflowers on it. So like I said, this is a sunflower week and I'm trying to use elements that pertain to sunflowers. And I'll also be working in my traveler's notebook as well. The title of this short devotion is called Lighten Up. Some studies suggest that four-year-olds laugh an average of 300 times a day, but 40-year-olds, less than 10. How about you? Proverbs 17 verse 22 reminds us that a cheerful heart is good medicine, NIV version. And that's evident in the lives of people who laugh a lot. Being with folks who emanate the joy of Jesus reminds us that it's okay and even vital to celebrate life every chance we get. If you aren't one of those, who's stopping you? How can you help yourself lighten up a little today? Sure, we all have serious matters to tend to. But Jesus also invites us to let go of the worries of the world and become like little children. Childlike faith delights our hearts and makes life lighter. Give it a try. You may be surprised at how wonderful it feels. I love that devotion. And look at the scriptures that come with it. He will I'm sorry, yeah, he will yet fill your mouth with laughing and your lips with rejoicing. Job 8 and 21, and that's the scripture I'm using today. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound, Psalm 4 and 7. A merry heart does good, like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones, Proverbs 17 and 22. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. We have every reason in the world to smile, lighten up. Life is beautiful because guess what? Jesus said, be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. Yes, in this world, you will have tribulations and things are bothering you and they hurt and you are missing loved ones and we can't be together. And there's a lot of things that we can go down the list. It's not pleasant for us to be experiencing right now but but we have the joy of the Lord and the joy of the Lord is our strength so smile a little you will feel better and I love to laugh I love to smile and one thing my husband said he said you amaze me you can watch the same sitcom or the same show and laugh at the same thing as if you heard it for the first time I love to laugh and I love bringing joy into people's hearts. And Sunflower is just a perfect way to express such vibrancy and joy of the Lord. That's why I smile so much now being in Christ. I'm so much more secure with who I am and who the Lord has made me that all of that other stuff is just a load off. And I'm so grateful to God for that, that I can laugh and smile in the midst of pain and hurt. So guys, lighten up. God's got this. He really does have this. I believe Charles Swindoll said two things that stood out to me. One was that he wants to be remembered by his grandchildren, that he laughed. And then he also said, don't take yourself so seriously. Take life seriously, but don't take yourself so seriously. And I want my son to remember how much I love the Lord, my family, and how much I love to laugh and have fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you were inspired and I hope it made you smile, if but for a moment. I love you guys. Take care.